Would Tony have survived the attack at the end of Winter Soldier? During Captain America the Winter Soldier, during the final climactic scene where the helicarriers are starting to target all of their targets, we can see that Tony in Avengers Tower is being targeted. But would they be able to do it? An Iron Man suit could probably withstand the assault at least long enough for him to get into a bigger, more armored suit. So would they even have been able to get him? I think this depends on a couple things. What is his priority in the targeting list? And how quickly are they going through the list? Earlier in the movie, Fury says that the guns are able to eliminate a thousand hostiles a minute. Now the question is, is that for all of the Hera Carriers as a whole? Is it for one gun? Is it for one helicarrier? I don't know. If it's for the helicarriers as a whole, then it's going to take them a while to get through their list. They're targeting over 700,000 targets, so that means to get through everyone, it's going to take at least an hour. If it's based on each gun individually, then it's going to depend a lot on how many guns there are. If we go with a conservative guess and say that there's 30 guns total, then it's still going to take them about 23 minutes to get through that list. If we say that there's 300 guns, then it's still going to take two minutes, which I think is plenty of time for Tony to get an alert from Jarvis and get into a suit. Honestly, unless they get him in the first 30 seconds, I'm going to assume that Jarvis will somehow pick up what's going on, because, you know, hundreds of thousands of people dying is kind of a big deal. So he'd be able to trigger something to get Tony in a suit. And that's assuming he isn't already alerted. Cap did just alert to all of S.H.I.E.L.D., and Natasha was working on uploading the file about what's going on, so it stands to reason that he might have, at that moment, been getting suited up. So at least in this instance, I think Tony was safe. 